Welcome to Cocktails in the Organic Isle, an open table discussion where three natural moms, Christy, Jody, and Rachel, come together to dish out their unique recipe for health and wellness while living in a busy, conventional world. Grab a cocktail, pull up a chair, and let's chat. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our very first podcast. Cheers. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Cheers. We are so excited to have you here with us today. We are going to take these first three episodes to help you learn a little about us. So our first episode is going to be about the lovely Rachel. So if you were by chance in New York City about six years ago, you may have seen a girl walking through Central Park with a chicken on a leash. Yeah, Rachel, tell us what was up with this chicken in New York? Oh my gosh, I just wanted a little piece of home, like the smallest piece. That's all I needed. So I bought a very small chick, hoping it was a girl, and I took it to New York where it lived in my apartment. And I made it a little diaper, and we went to the park and had play dates with Hold on, friends. stop. Did your landlord know you had a chicken? Oh no, <laughs> no. How did it you was, get your chicken from your apartment down? I used to like wrap it in a little <laughs> towel and just carry it down like it was laundry. <laughs> so she had a chicken in New York. So yeah. what is that saying? You can take the girl out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the girl? That's yeah. Like and now or I'm the a chicken. free chicken roamer. Yeah, right? now you have lots chicken. of chickens. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming you weren't the only, were you the only chicken walker in Central Park? I know there's a lot of goofy things you can see in Central Park. I but definitely, I'm assuming I've seen pigs. Chicken. pigs. Um, I've seen bunnies on leashes, but I've definitely never seen a chicken, so. But I'm sure there's some some other weirdo somewhere in New York. That is so funny. Probably. Okay, so Rachel, get us started here. Tell us what started you on your healthy journey. Yeah, um, so my mom, she got really sick when I was around nine years old. Uh, all of the allopathic doctors were like, you just have to wait it out. It's just one of those things. Like, you're going to have to lay in bed for the rest of your life. Or maybe you'll get better, maybe you won't. Someone told her about um, a naturopath doctor and with uh, some herbs and some diet changes. I mean, she was better in months. That's amazing. And yeah. better than normal. So, so amazing. Um, we hear more and more stories about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's fascinating. But it's, you know, like one person told her about this doctor and then she's told so many people right. and I go to him still. Um, so I think it's just um, seeing how my mom really came through and with you know, simple changes that were gentle and uh, I guess, I don't want to say easy, but I guess not invasive. Mm -hmm. She just was able to change her life through small, healthy choices. So I think I really caught um, a bug for health. I started reading tons of books. I started, you know, digging into fluoride and water and, you know, just little things here and there. And now that I have a family and a mom, I, I am a mom. I just find that it is so important to make sure that our, we're not burdening our children mm -hmm. or teaching them to like whole foods or healthy foods and showing him the difference between, you know, snacks that are kind of laden with chemicals and preservatives and colors compared to, you know, something that's just a little bit more fresh or yeah. uh, natural. So, yeah, that's yeah. a good, you talked about being a mom. So what is your life like now? Yeah. So now. What's the day in a life of Rachel? Oh, yes. It's kind of chaos. I have a little boy named, well his middle name is Rocket, so you can imagine what my <laughs> house looks like right now. <laughs> um, That's your fault by the way. <laughs> I know, I did it. Actually, I think that's my husband's fault, it's not my fault. Um, and I still model here and there, uh, so very part time, but it's fun to still have my uh, toe dipped in a little bit of fashion. Mm -hmm. But I started a company, uh, I guess a year ago, um, offering some natural skincare, offering some different herbal infusions from either organically sourced, uh, foraged, or grown by me here locally. So nice. it's been really fun to connect with the community and start to teach people a little bit how to take care of their body and find balance using something as gentle as, you know, herbs or, mm -hmm. you know, like chamomile or, you know, elderberry. So it's been really fun. And I really do love it, and it's um, opened up a whole new world yeah. to connect once I moved home. So I'm happy. Yeah, it's, it's fun going on a hike with Rachel. She'll be like, 
here, eat this, eat this. She's really great at identifying things because I would probably poison myself because I, I don't have the quite the knowledge of, of, of identifying plants. But She's definitely the friend you want to have along when you go hiking. Yeah. We went hiking in the local uh, park a couple of weeks ago or a couple months now, and she I think her, she thought her son uh, grazed upon some uh, poison ivy. Poison ivy. And she's like, oh, shoot. And she's like, hold on. And you could see, she was like, oh, I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Oh, good. And she grabbed and she went, shh, on here. And I was just like, what did you grab? What? Jewel what weed. Oh, jewel <laughs> weed. I did jewel it again. Weed. I have I no know. idea what that yeah. is. Yeah. She did that the other weekend. We did it this weekend. Yeah. More jewel weed. I mean, it's I so know. fun just to have her there. And especially, well, me, I like, like, when you came to my house, you're like, that's poison ivy. That right there's one. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Because you know there's poison ivy here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little random, you know, tips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she does make the best elderberry syrup around. So yes. if you do get the chance. She I tried nice. making my own a couple years ago and it didn't work out as well as, it didn't taste as good as yours oh, did. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Rachel, we are here together doing a bod- podcast. Why, what is your why to being here, sitting here right now in front of our audience? Why do you want to do this podcast? Yeah, I think... Um, I really think connecting to the community and opening myself up and letting people into my life a little bit leads people to write me, you know, what, what did you do when you were pregnant? What kind of, you know, prenatals did you use? You know, what, what should I do with this? I have a weird rash or a bug bite or, you know, I have pains in my knees. Like what herb could help me with something like this? It's, you know, I think people, they're interested um, in this alternate lifestyle because right. we didn't grow up this way. Like we live in Northern Kentucky and one of the unhealthiest States. <laughs> yeah. We're very unhealthy. Fried chicken. Yeah. So I think people can, they see how, you know, living a natural life is, um, just like different and more pure and simple. And I want to help make it accessible. Yeah. You know, my kid eats seaweed snacks and we eat weeds out of the yard and we have <laughs> chickens and you know, whatever is going on. But I think that everyone can find their own natural path, their own yeah. natural lifestyle, and it doesn't have to look super intense. Um, it can just be, it can be whatever it is. And yeah. I think um, just really helping connect with people. You know, we, we'd we love to answer your questions and connect with you all. So I think this is a great way that we all can come together having different knowledge. Yeah. Um, so. Like, yeah, I agree. I think too, we're, we're all very different. So we, you might find us talking about different things and, uh, but I think it's great because I think each one of us brings something different to the table that we're hoping can help you guys and connect with you guys on a different level. So Yay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to say about your, you? And that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Just Rachel. Just, Just Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> the X model herbalist chicken walker. Yep. I'll take it. And she's awesome. So. <laughs> she is pretty cool. Thanks for joining yeah. us. And Thank you. And we will talk to you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for listening to Cocktails in the Organic Isle with Christy, Jody, and Rachel. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave a review, subscribe, and share. You can also continue the conversation on social media at Cocktails in the Organic Isle. Until next time, see you in the Organic Isle.